Hello YouTube, I'm High Maintenance and today I'm going to be showing you how to make bass like this. Or like this. about put these on have a sip of my beer okay so both the bases in those tunes were made with three osc if you're not an FL user all you need to know about three osc is it is three oscillators it, do it doesn't do much else I mean, it does a couple of other things, but anyway. So, at the moment, all right, I'll put it down to C4. It's pretty much just a saw wave. Um, what I did with it was use Wave Shaper. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it. If you haven't, it does what it says on the tin, basically it shapes the wave. If I put it on now because it's it's the same shape at the moment as the waveform I'm using it won't do anything. But um, I'm just going to use a, f a couple of presets because you know presets are there to be made and I don't want to do this amount of clicking. Th this is the clicking you have to do to make the shape. Okay. Where, where, where? Don't use presets, man. That's not cool. <laughs> well, whatever. Okay, so the first one I use, yeah, landed on that. I'll use that. I use three to really mess up the sound normally. I like the look of that one. I'll play. It, I'll play it now. Sorry. Already sounds a bit distorted. It's good. Just want to check the still recording. Um, yeah, this one. This this like it's, imagine a sine wave and what that looks like now. Sorry if that was really loud. My bad. I'll turn it down for a minute. Okay. So that's that's what it sounds like. Centre piano roll. I can't explain really how this works. Like the the volume when you change the volume makes it sound like it's being filtered. So I'll show you. that there the reason I'm adding octaves is to add more harmonics um, I'll show you if you want uh, one, one note would look like this for example and then let's just go three notes it should look a lot fuller. Okay, it doesn't look or sound any different. Oh yes it does. That's a bit better. Um. I'm just going to turn it into a power chord because they always sound good. Yep. Pretty happy. Um, right. This is this is the trick with the volume. Um, if you're an FL user, you you will have seen this slidey bend thing that I clicked on.
just here and you can edit the volume with it so it, sh it would get quieter but just listen sounds like a filter like mad thing you can, you can do crazy stuff with this noise like right? and i will be doing more tutorials with this noise later on so i'll try and not mess around and just get this done quick um i've added a distortion before cuz it sounds fun you know whatever distortion is always good that's the noise we're trying to make anyway so Fuck it. Times a hundred. Turn that down a bit. It actually sounded cooler without the overdrive. is always good for this noise anyway I don't put them on a lot of my bases or sometimes I normally use massive anyway so I'll try adding a filter to it just to just to see how that rolls. Um, I'll sequence it because that's obviously better. I used to make this bass like four years ago, so sorry if it's a bit shit. But I, I used to use camel fat for the um, the LFO effects, but I'll, I'm going to do that in the next tutorial. So and I'll, I'll try and show you how to make a proper tune. completely forgot to push the bass up that's what I do I mean I know this EQ at the bottom isn't very accurate but it can it does tell you right here like pretty accurate frequencies that you're hitting so I mean it only does 18 decibels this EQ up or down but Okay, yeah, I'm done. This is meant to be a three-parter tutorial. I don't want to give you all the uh, secrets straight away. So, um, yeah, thanks for listening. If you haven't heard of me, then um, check out my tunes. My name's High Maintenance. And uh, thanks for watching.